Some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. There's an old saying when it comes to representing oneself in a trial. He who represents himself has a fool for a client. So, let's take a look at this sovereign citizen fool who argues with the judge. Now, last year, Daryl Brooks killed six people at a parade during Christmas time and injured 62 others. So, let's enjoy the shit show that this guy goes through to make himself look like a complete moron in front of the judge. Mr. Brooks, the jury's here. Please like show respect and decorum. According to this um, document, this is a Mr. Civil Brooks, case, please stop. Which means someone is being sued. Civil is a suit. Mr. Brooks, you're talking about an irrelevant matter. I'm starting the trial. Of course, right here that says it's a civil matter. Mr. Brooks so has nothing to do with My this case. Trust is being sued. I have no idea what you're talking about. So I, I got the paperwork right here. All right, I'm going to excuse the jury right about. now, given this disruption. Throughout the trial, Brooks has made a total spectacle of himself. In fact, the judge will later allude to what happened the previous day, though that there was 17 incidents on that day alone of him interrupting and causing an issue. So, since the jury has been removed the, from the courtroom room, let's see what happens now. I'll rise for the jury. This should be properly addressed before the jury even comes out. That's why I tried to properly address it before we even went on the record. Mr. Brooks, stop. I'm not going to. This is. You are not I being respectful to this proceeding you, or to with this respect, jury. No, it's all not. With respect, all due respect, stating respect, that doesn't make it respectful. I'm this paperwork by you. Mr. Brooks. Monica Pass. Stop talking till the jury course. is out. Okay, Thank you. So why couldn't we address this before they came out? I'm that not going to address it. That bottom was the time to address it, though. We're supposed to do all the, all the addressings before the jury comes out, before we start the matter. Please be seated. I was trying to simply address paperwork that was given to me by you, Your Honor. That states Mr. That Brooks, this, it states that you have interrupted me matter. repeatedly. You are on the verge of being removed to that courtroom. I don't want to do on that. What, I want you to stay here. On what but you the law, Your keep Honor. interrupting me and bringing up irrelevant matters. I told you yesterday, as a courtesy that was provided, to you so that you would frankly not complain that you didn't get it as quickly as possible okay i am not the custodian of the records if you have an issue with what was provided to you how it was provided to you then take it up with the clerk she of court but from me. now on i am not going to be the messenger and give you documents that you request to the custodian of the records or from the custodian of the records they will simply have to be delivered to you at the jail but that is in response to your discussion or whatever we want to call it this morning i'm not taking it up you have chosen to represent yourself in this case that's a point against you for being a total fool and that's another point against you for continuously arguing with the judge she can kick you out which means that nobody will be there to represent you when you have direct examination so by all means keep it up client fool all right, it is irrelevant. It, it needed to be noted for the record. It doesn't need it to was, be noted, sir. All right, the jury's me, coming back out, and I'm going court. to warn you, if you bring this up again, I will pause, and I will remove you to the next courtroom for being disrespectful, for being interruptive, for being disruptive, and for bringing up irrelevant matters in front of this jury. You will forfeit your right to be present for the direct examination of this witness. I object to did that, you Honor. hear what I said, no, sir? No, I did not. I, I object to that, Your Honor. Did your parents have any children that live? Sir, yes, sir. How about they regret that? Well, you can and object, and your you, objection is noted, but if you interrupt record, when this jury comes the out, they will go. I will, rem, I will have them taken out again, and you will be removed to the next courtroom. The, you can't, what is the legal basis for that ruling, Your Honor? Illinois versus Allen, sir, and all of the and, other cases that I've cited previously. Anything, I'll make the appropriate record. Stop interrupting me. The jury's coming out. We're continuing with this trial despite your repeated efforts to disrupt. That's yesterday, sit down. Record. Yesterday alone, sir, 17 interruptions, not including the opportunity that I gave you where you spent 50 minutes, okay, discussing what were primarily either irrelevant or baseless accusations and requests not based in law or fact. 
Like, he went on a 50-minute rant about sovereign citizen nonsense. That is something I'm going to have to look up. I was abundantly patient with you yesterday. And you still have to and, verify by proof any of what I said. And none of that is required, sir. Because and it is. You can't verify Your belief proof. that Where's that's the, the law the doesn't make it so, Mr. Brooks. Your belief that these are legitimate legal positions they doesn't are. change the law and doesn't make it so. It, it, it's so, again. It's really relevant because... You didn't want to I'm address. going to step off and give Mr. Brooks five minutes to cool off. And not, when that I, happens, I don't I'm bringing cool the jury I'm not, I'm not out, angry at and all. then we will I just wanted continue. To, I don't... Given his behavior, I do think that this trial is merely a formality and that he will spend the rest of his pathetic life behind bars because he chose the fool's way of going into the trial to defend himself rather than find an experienced attorney and have him or her do the job.